Sunday night once again. It's the energy focus for the week. Terry Ann Hyman here, Natural Forces Studio in the Empowered Spirit Circle on Facebook. Come on in and join me for a few minutes. Got a full moon ritual to do tonight. Yes, that full moon is going to be coming up very shortly. Nice and full. It's a big healing moon. So take a few moments. Come on in and join me. Let's look at some cards. And let's talk about the energy focus for this week. Really a big time coming forward. So come on in and join me. Say hello when you come in. I'm going to go ahead and share this out. If you're not in the Empowered Spirit Circle on Facebook, come on over and join us. It's growing every day. We have lots of things going on. Sometimes we post, we put articles in, we share information. I come in during the week, talk a little bit, offer some tips. So come on over to the Empowered Spirit Circle on Facebook. I'm going to go ahead and share it out and join us. So tonight we're going to do a ritual for the full moon. So if you have some selenite or quartz, either one, we're going to work with both. And really work with the energy of what's going on. There's so much energy shifting around. Did you notice it? Did you notice the energy that's been shifting? Really intense. But it's a very healing moon for all of us. So I want to talk a little bit about how we can use it. I want to do a meditation tonight. How you can really begin to make these shifts going forward for you. We're getting out a lot of this energy that we've been in all summer. All summer long, all the cosmic transits and the squares and the eclipses and the retrograde, we're going to start to see a shift. All right, we've got one more planet coming out of retrograde Mars coming out tomorrow. So, yes, this has been a really, really intense full moon. It really has. I was in meditation this morning. We were celebrating and honoring Yogi Bunjan. Yogi Bunjan brought Kundalini over to the West to us. Today was his birthday. Two and a half hours, Echo and Car chanting through each of the chakras, clearing it out, clearing it out, clearing it out. And then when I kind of went back into the real world, I could feel all that extra energy because everything was aligned, everything was clear, and I was feeling where it was hitting me. But the thing is, is letting it go up and down through that vertical channel, keeping it moving. That's what's really important right now. Clearing out all that old stuff, letting it go healing this is a beautiful healing full moon let me just share this one more time if you can share this out for me that would be great this is the video maker mastermind if you would like to learn to do more videos brad powell is the person for you all right third chair there we go all right so come in and let's talk a little bit about what is going on and how you can use the energy all around so the full moon is coming up it came in about 1 32 30 wherever you are living early this morning all right Big and beautiful, really powerful, and Vedic astrology. They say that it sits in the sky where the hundred healers are. It's beautiful because it's the opportunity to really go in and offer that healing to yourself. For all that you've been going through, all this retrograde planets, all these eclipses, they've been digging up the past, so to speak, pulling up that stuff. We honor it. Help us to grow, help us to move out of it. And now we're coming through where we are actually going to move out this energy. You're going to see a little bit more tomorrow with Mars. And then as we move forward into September, things are going to pick up. They're going to start to move forward. So really the key right now, a couple of things. Release the energy. Use that vertical breathing we'll do in the meditation today to help you move the energy so you're not holding on to it. All right. Now the other thing too is to go deeper within. And really figure out what it is that's underneath you. You know it. You know it. You've been working with it. It's been bugging you all summer, right? Give me a thumbs up for that one. Now's the time to release it. This is the moon that's coming in to help. This moon also, because of where it sits, it helps with all that light to unveil what it is you need to unveil. To see what it is. Then that's where we free up the energy. And that's what's really, really important right now is freeing up that energy and not letting it really get to us, all right? It's really opening that energy door. It's time to step into it, all right? This is also gonna help us push us a little forward too. What is it you've been wanting to get done? What is it you've been wanting to set into motion? 
All right, this is the perfect time to start to do it. Now, that doesn't mean act on impulse or go out there without any kind of strategy, right, so to speak. But maybe there is something that you have been wanting to really figure out. Now is the time to step forward. Move it a little forward. Have the conviction. Yes, have that conviction to step up to the plate. And as we go forward to the end of the year, now's the time. All right, we've been doing all that churning. We've been doing all that shifting. We've been doing all that stuff that maybe doesn't make us feel so good, right? Maybe it doesn't. And now's the time to really own it, let it go, forgive it, move it out, whatever that is for you, so that you can step up to that plate for who you are. And maybe it feels a little different. I know I feel different. Like sometimes like, who am I? But I have this underlying desire in my heart and in my passion to keep going forward with this work I'm doing. And so, yeah, I've had a little sh shifts along the way, especially if I go all the way back to the beginning of the year. And maybe you have too. But this is the part we come forward with. This is what we start putting into motion. But we have to do some healing. So this full moon, it's in Pisces. Pisces is that water energy, that intuition, that knowing energy, the emotional energy, right? I know for me, it's like, whoa, all weekend. It's like, release it out. Don't feel so lonely. Get out there, right? It's really kind of like, let that energy just keep moving. And that's what Pisces does. Think about the fish moving through the water. So keep moving through those emotions. Don't hold on to them, all right? If you're holding on to them in the, in the horizontal breath, in that horizontal body of energy, the work fields, that's where we feel it. That's why the key is really up and down right now. Up and down, using the breath to release it out of the body so you're not holding on to it. All right, we're going to feel this. We're going to feel the full moon again tomorrow, right, as you start your work week. So Mars is going to go direct too, and we're going to feel that like, uh, uh, uh. so careful tomorrow at work. All right, continue being careful of, you know, your reactions to people. Mars is that fire energy. We see it in the sky at night, right? Go out there and look. You'll see it. That's that fire energy. That's that first chakra. That's that fueling us to how we connect, where we connect. And so the energy is going to start to move out, all right? We are going to figure out what to do about that by grounding, by grounding. All right, I got a few thumbs up on the hair. Thank you. New style, new look, new all of this. Thank you, you ladies. Thank you. This is what this energy is about. Come out and do it, all right? Make a shift. Make a change. It may feel awkward. Know that the cosmos are healing us now, all right? Healing you from the inside to put that energy out in front of you. Step up to the plate. Be that leadership person that you are. Be innovative. Be creative. All of this energy is finally coming forward. So Monday, just careful of how you come through it. Tuesday, we're going to start to feel a little bit of release. Finally, by Wednesday, you're going to feel a little bit of that full moon gone, and you'll be a little bit more proactive in how you work right into that holiday weekend, all right? Right into that holiday weekend. All right, that's really what we're having working up. So really the key right now for this weekend, for right now, tonight especially, is to release. All right, and we're going to do a thing with the crystals. So if you can, grab a quartz, grab a selenite. We're going to do a little ritual with it and show you how to work with them. All for your highest good, and then we'll look at the cards as well. All right, so take a nice deep inhale. Let's just take a few moments and do this meditation. You can always come back to it. This will help to realign that excess energy so you're not having that excess energy as you move forward into the work week. All right, so wherever you are, if you can, deep inhale. And exhale. Just send that breath all the way down deep into the earth. Inhaling and exhaling, opening up that energy, exhaling it away. You have a selenite crystal, begin to bring that selenite crystal in your hands and your body or right out in front, whatever works for you. And just take a nice deep inhale, holding that selenite. Selenite is a high vibration of energy. It's a nice channel of energy that aligns with the vertical channel. Exhale the breath away, all the way down. Take a deep inhale, bringing it up from the earth through the body, opening the vertical channel up into the heavens. And as you exhale, bring that vibration down all the way deep into the earth. Take another inhale. All the way into the higher dimensions. And as you exhale, call in your higher self. Feel that energy coming in, aligning your energy as you release that energy down. Take another deep inhale. 
And let us just connect our higher selves with our guides, with the masters, with the teachers, with all that cosmic force out there. Call in the moon. Call in that Mars. Call in the planets, the sun, the earth. Call it in. Feel the alignment of all that energy coming forward for you. Right down through this selenite. Right down through this column of light within you. As to be guided and protected as we honor where we are. Right here in the late summer. Under this beautiful full moon. Inhaling. Bringing that breath up through the vertical channel. Moving the energy. And as you exhale, grab whatever it is. Bring it down that no longer serves. That no longer works for you. Let it go. Whatever it is, hurt, disappointment, sadness, fear, inhale from the earth up into the higher realms. And again, just sweep the body. Let it align with the selenite, which pulls that, that excess energy out, which cleanses the chakras, sending it deep into the earth. Exhale down. Inhaling. And exhaling. Now bring the awareness right into that column of light. If you have a selenite, let it line up with the column. And begin to imagine all of those things from the summer when no longer works. Releasing, collecting right here. And then exhale. Send it down. Whoosh. Let it go. Inhaling and again, bringing in the energy of the moon. Right above you, a big, big globe of light. Let that radiant light shine down through you, through the column, through the selenite, unveiling whatever it is for you to see, exhaling down. Again, vertically breathing up the body. And exhale, breathing all the way back down, deep into the earth. One more time, inhaling and exhaling send it down deep into the earth and just bring that selenite out a little bit away from you bring it out and just feel the energy cleansing through it as well that's what selenite does cleanses the energy and then if you can just sweep the body with the selenite sweep 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 let it go clear the energy away Take a deep inhale, and as you exhale, blow on the selenite, releasing all the energy out. Now, whatever quartz is, whatever you have to put outside, to put in the window seals for the moon, bring those forward. Take the selenite and just clear those as well. It's already charged. It's already doing the job. It's clearing the excess energy. All right, then this beautiful, both you can, but you're going to put these out there to catch that moonlight. To put those intentions for this next step, that's what we want to do, end to these crystals. You can do this under the moonlight or you can charge them with moonlight and then set those intentions. So you'll place these in there, holding them in your hands for a moment. Either one, the selenite or the quartz. Feel the radiant moon shining on you as we honor her beauty, her wisdom, the fullness with which she comes in. The energy that goes up, the energy that goes down, the energy that goes all around us, the ever-flowing light of energy of this full moon. Bring that radiant energy all around you. Set your intentions for whatever you want it to capture, all that energy to help you move forward as we move through the rest of the year. Beautiful time to set those intentions. Take a deep inhale. And exhale. Just bring the awareness back. Feel the energy. If you know Reiki, go ahead and run the Reiki through the crystals. Feel that heat coming in. Feel that chi, that prana filling up with those intentions. Inhaling and exhaling. Sending the breath down deep into the earth. Feel the feet on the floor. Bringing that awareness back. Coming back. And now we take these crystals. They're charged with what you want to attract, with the energy, right? That inspiration, that's where it comes in. Inspiration comes in through the crown. We put our intentions out there, and then we do the strategy, the rest of the work, to bring it through the chakras, to manifest easy, effectively. So take these crystals, put them in your window seals. I love to put them in my bathroom window seals.
up, beautifully filling up. Let it fill up with the beautiful light of the moon. Take another deep inhale and exhale. Bring in the awareness back as we look at the cards for guidance this week. All right, so if you didn't choose a card, one, two, or three, we're going to start out with the focus for all of us this week. It's a beautiful card for right now. I'm drawing from the good tarot. I love these cards. They're really pretty. All right, Colette Baron reads. I'm a big fan of her cards. These are tarot versus the oracles. This is the four of water. This is a beautiful card for right now because this is reminding us to go really deep. Water is our cups. Water is our emotional body. Water is that dreaming energy. Sometimes we may feel like we don't have what we need. And this healing moon is asking us to go deeper. Look at that. Go deeper down. See, she's holding these three. There's one more here. Sometimes we can get disenchanted. Sometimes we can think we're not doing what we need to do. We can feel a little lost, a little unsure of ourselves, right? We can. This is calling us to go deeper, exactly what this moon is about. Go into the darker, darker depths. Go down. Pull it up beautiful card for all of us. So where can you go deeper? As you move through this week, where can you go deeper and what it is that you're unveiling and healing in your own life right now? All right, that's for all of us to look at. Now, how do we do that? These cards are going to help us to look at how we can do that. All right, if you drew, if you pick chose card number one, we have the messenger of water, another beautiful dreamy card. It's kind of an interesting card. Look, she's staring eye to eye at a seahorse. Now this card comes in to remind us of the messages of our own self, of the love and the acceptance. We're not all the same. We are at the core. What's, I, what's in me is in me and you and what's in you is in me. But we have our differences. So this is all about acceptance of that love within our own self. Water, cup is love for ourself. This is gonna help you go deeper. This is gonna help you heal from those wounds. Bring that message in for yourself. Let the light of the moon Unveil that love for yourself that's going to help you to heal, that's going to help you move out, go deeper, start a new path. Definitely. Beautiful card. Now, if you chose card number two, this is the Ten of Earth. This is a beautiful, abundant card, all right? This is like we got it going, we've got it made. But sometimes when we draw this card, we can have a little bit of like forgetting to be grateful. All right, this is almost like a wish card. Like when you have this going on and when things are building up and work, she's like, look, sitting back and sitting there with her, it's like a dog or something there, right? A wolf, right? Like, in, like, like this is normal, all right? So this card reminds us that maybe this isn't always normal, all right? Not to make it normal when you are doing your work and you are bringing in the abundance, not to take it for granted. I think that's what I'm trying to say with this card. So not to take it for granted of what you do have, and this is in the physical plane. This is almost like a wish card. Like, thank you. Thank you for all of this. Don't take it for granted. And know that you still can dig a little deeper to get to some of the others. But there is a foundation that is working for you. All right, that's a great card to help you be reassured of the work that you're doing. You're building it up. Don't get melancholy. All right, Earth, another four. All right, this is also a pentacle card. This is also a money card. All right, this is reminding us to look at what we have done. Fours help us to review and renew and look at it. All right, there is a balance to that. But again, it's the same thing. Like, okay, we can't hold on so tight. Keep that flow of energy going. Keep that flow going. Keep it moving. Know that this is working for you as well. Abundance to build, but four has like a foundation energy to it. All right. It's a review time. Like look at what it is that is working for you as well. So the cards kind of are all fitting water. All right. Reminding us to really have that energy to look for ourselves, to love ourselves, to go deeper into the unveiling. There is abundance. I love that. Two, two abundant cards. All right. In the pentacles and in the week ahead for you. What is working? Don't despair. Don't give up. Don't take it for granted. All right, it's easy to do that when we go through shifts. It's easy to go, oh, I can't do it. Oh, I don't see what's going on because we feel different, because things are shifting. All right, so just kind of offer the gratitude. Keep doing your work. Keep working on the strategy. Keep building what it is. But in the healing aspects, go a little deeper. Bring in that love for yourself. All right, give me a thumbs up if that's kind of agreeing with what you're feeling right now, if this advice for you is going to work for this week. All right, I got a thumbs up there. All right, really important to honor the work we're doing, really important to open up to some of those changes that are going forward, but know the foundation is there for you. All right, I got a couple of, th a couple of thumbs up for that as well. All right, so take a deep breath. 
All right, Teresa, I got a thumbs up for you as well, too. Right. All right, so these things are going on. So we have to release that energy. If you're having trouble releasing that energy, all right, let me know. I'm doing some specials. I don't always open up single spots, but I'm doing some Akashic readings. Let me know. Put Akashic, put reading in the comments below or private message me. I've got some spots coming up this week. I'm going to run it right through Labor Day, all right? Some Akashic readings. Follow it up with some tapping, some forgiveness techniques. I will help you move through it. We don't want to take these imprints with us into the fall. We really don't. Now's the time to clean it up as we go to finish the summer. So I'm offering some readings. Let me know. Reach out. I'll post about it and how you can find out more information as well. All right. Got a few moments here to draw a card or two if you'd like a card. Got some thumbs up. All right. Hey, Kimberly, how are you? Dana. All right, guys. Anybody want a read a card for me to pull from this beautiful green deck? All right, I'll give it a minute. All right, so I am not um, on air this week. The Empowered Spirit um, Summer Series finished up last week. If you didn't listen to it, there is so much great information on the CBD world. So much great information. I'll be taking. I'll be starting some classes in the fall over at the studio. You can learn about it, really. Also, I am actually going to be sending out and posting about a survey. I'd like to know what you liked about the podcast. I'd also like to know what you'd like to hear. I want to talk about what you want to hear, all right? What is it that would interest you this fall? Do you like the meditations? Do you like the interviews? Do you like the spiritual authors? Do you like the cosmic forces? Like, so that I can put this out there in the world, in the podcast, to help, to serve, to be of good use. We've got a few people here. Patrick, I think you are first. Patrick, Dana, and Kim. Those are the orders to start with. All right, these are great cards. It's been a while. Let's see what comes up. All right. So we got the Queen of Earth, which is so perfect for you. I love this, all right? So this is tapping into that feminine work that you do with the Earth. Queen of Earth, look how beautiful she is. Look at the trees coming out. So this is just offering you, tap into some of that intuitive ability. We've been talking about it that I know you have. Go into the feminine side. I know you do a lot of work on the physical aspects of it, but be sure to sit with her. Be sure to bring up that part of yourself as well, all right? That's a beautiful card because that's like kind of getting just to the flow. I know with all the work you're doing, you're building, you're working and all that, some of the masculine side. But this reminds us to have some of that feminine energy coming forward for you this week. Sit out there. Feel it. Notice the changes that you're going through. All right. How does that feel for you? I love this card. Really beautiful. Really golden colors. Feel that golden energy. Feel it and moving out. You. All right. Strength. All right. This is a strength card. Always love this card. Always love how she's like sitting there with the roses and holding on to the to the lion there, right? Really important. Very important to have that strength. Pull that inner resources coming forward. It may feel a little different right now. You may feel a little different like where like you know, all shooken up. That's the eclipse energy. That's all that retrograde. But have the courage and the conviction to trust trust that inner part of who you are all right that love remember go back to that love card so you can have this trust you know there's always both sides of that connection all right have that strength that's a major arcana next the two of fire all right this is a fun card we've got the giraffe in there riding the giraffe is carrying that light so there is a path fire is desire all right this is a card about following that passion and that desire all right, lots of times when we bring in twos, we talk about the duality. So find both sides of that. Look at that, sitting on the giraffe. Be different, be out there. Carry your light as you move forward to find what it is. What can this be right now? Very important to look at that and move towards that direction. I love it. Look at the giraffe. It's awesome. All right, let's see. Hopefully that was helpful too. If you have any questions, let me know how that sits for you. And for your sister. All right, Kim, for your sister. Six of fire. All right, six is the double threes, right? Look at that. Hot air balloons moving up, moving out. Following that passion, taking it to that next step. Look how the ship is going up on there. Look how it's being lifted up. All right, so it's taking you up into a higher realm of dimension with the fashion, the passions and fire and desires of your life. All right, Kim, this is for your sister. What is she doing? All right, lift that up. Let that have that energy go forward for her. Be that fire. See how that hot air is driving that ship forward. So this is about coming into that passions and desires. 
taking it to that next thing. Sometimes sixes too become that community energy. So it's like all look and moving forward. Really a beautiful card full of passion and fire, especially as we come to the late summer. All right. Hi, Thelma. How are you? Thelma, this card is for you. Messenger of the earth. All right. This is a beautiful card to remember that that earth is there to trust. The abundance is there for you. Bring that energy forward. Kind of similar to the water card that we're that the, the money, the finances, the connection that you have with the earth is there for you. All right. Being really strong with that. Look for messages this week. If you're doubting it, open up to the higher vibration. Put it out there in that abundant term. Beautiful, bountiful, blissful bountiful blissful that's what that card is bringing forward for you all right kimberly you said that definitely resonated with you all right pat me no all right so if you do want more information about an akashic reading we're going to be working on talking about and working on getting those imprints out of the way we don't want to carry them forward so the akashic reading can help you look at where they're coming from and then with the tools to follow help you to really work towards just relief with yourself Right, Teresa? Teresa can vouch for that one. I see here, this Teresa, because you know how powerful those readings are. Another messenger, so many messengers, a messenger of fire. All right, woman, messenger of fire. This is you. Look at her crown. All right, and now for you, it's more of that passion. You've been dancing around it. I've been following you. You've been dancing around it. All right, bring some more of that reality into what you're doing, all right? Get out there in the fire and the passions, not so, I know, you know, right? She knows, she knows exactly what I'm talking about. So this card is a beautiful card reminding us to really look for those messages of spirit coming forward that will help you really confirm your passions and desires in life. All right? All right, Teresa, I know you know that, definitely. Let's talk, girl. All right, definitely a lot of energy coming forward. And again, just to a recap for the week. Full moon energy, do whatever ritual. Follow the crystals if you want. I love it. Get some selenite, cleanse, feel that vertical breath. Charge your crystals with the intentions just like we did. If you missed it, you can follow. Go by the windows, put them outside. You can even set up a little grid if you have more than one to bring those new intentions in. This moon, it unveils your past and unveils that healing. Let it rise to the surface. Release it through that column of light as you move through this week, one step at a time. Tomorrow will be a little challenging with that Mars energy shifting around. Tuesday, you start releasing. By Wednesday, you're going to feel better as you move into that holiday weekend. Look for the signs around you. Look for the coins. Look for the pentacles. Look for those pennies on the earth to know that you are part of the message and part of Spirit's thought as it comes in this week. All right, post below if you want some more information on the Akashic readings. All right, Tuesday, Forma downtown. No... No podcast this week, but look for that survey. There are gifts. There are ways to get readings from me as well by helping me out with that and letting me know what it is you want to hear at this time as we move through all of these changes. All right. Thank you guys so much for listening. Be strong with your spirit. You can get a guide. Above is the link to setting up a spiritual practice. Five simple steps. Go to the website, download it, and get that spiritual practice moving forward for you. That will help as we move through these changes. That will help you to be grounded and strong and empowered in your spirit. Have a good week. Check in Wednesday. Let me know how you're doing. To your spirit. Namaste.